What's going on guys, it's Tony here from Raldas Details. In today's video, I want to show you guys uh, the new setup that we just uh, built. As you guys can see, we have two over here. The first one here is outside, uh, which we still have some work to do on this one, but this is kind of how it's gonna look uh, when it comes to when this, the frame is gonna be completely outside, in, in case you guys want to remove it from the vein and then transfer this exact frame to a different vein or something like that, just in case something happens with your vein. Uh, but anyways, like I said, um, this is the first video uh, about this setup uh, and showing you guys uh, the, the setup, including our um, new bottle holders, brush holders, polisher holders, and all that type of thing. So if you guys want to follow me, um, over here, as you guys can see, we have the uh, 16 ounce uh, bottle holders. Uh, made by us uh, and also they are made uh, of aluminum uh, this one here is a 32 ounce and as well uh, this one here you guys gonna be able to fit the IK sprayers which a lot of people love those sprayers so they are really good and you guys can fit those ones with no problem so once again they are made of aluminum designer thinking about mobile detailers why because they are super lightweight and they are durable because um, once again, since they are aluminum, they're not gonna get any rust or anything like that. So moving forward over here, as you guys can see, we have our 50 feet uh, vacuum hose reel with, and everything is 50 feet over here. Like when it comes to the air compressor, uh, vacuum, and as well, our pressure washer. Over here, we have our extension cord reel, which is 40 feet. Uh, this one here is already, connected you know to our generator uh, that way in case you guys want to connect your polisher your carpet extractor your steamer or anything like that is ready to go and as well it's a retractable rail as you guys can see over here we have our uh, tornado tool um, connection is a quick connect in order to keep your uh, tornado tool connected you know in a safe place and as well we have our foam cannon holder in this area here um, ready you know to connect your foam cannon for your foam cannon and be able to keep it you know in a safe place that way it's not going to be bouncing around um up here we have our totes uh that we install on every setup these ones here are obviously they are made of plastic but uh these ones here uh, are designed mainly for your dirty towels and you guys can keep your dirty towels in one area and the clean towels on a different area and over here we have this nice toolbox. This one here is for our, can be your, your towels, you know, your high-end towels, uh, these two drawers or anything like, however you guys would like to use this, this toolbox. Um, really good for any miscellaneous stuff like clay bar, um, anything, you know, I like to keep one drawer with some tools just in case something happens, you know, it's always good to keep like some, some tools, you know, with us when we are mobile. Um, once again, the entire frame is built in one solid piece, as you guys saw uh, on the on the other frame that we have right behind us. Um, <clears throat> but it's made of aluminum, built in one solid piece. And once again, since it's aluminum, it's not going to get rust at all. Uh, we have our, this one here is our um, switch on and off for your pressure washer. As you guys can see, all you guys need to do is press this button here and your pressure washer is going to come on. Um, moving forward on this side, this side over here, we have our brush holder, once again, aluminum, and this one here is for your long stuff, you know, and you have the, you have around seven holes up here, different diameter in order to fit different type of brushes. Now let's move on to the side. And this side, we have extra storage, as you guys can see over here. It can be for your carpet extractor, it can be for your steamer, uh, or it can be for buckets, whatever you guys would like to storage right there. Uh, we have our uh, gallon size holders as well. Uh, you can fit up to four gallons uh, on this ones, and, and the bottom one, and another uh, four gallons on the top shelf, or you guys can use it for pump sprayers if you guys would like, or you guys can hang your pump, your pump sprayers from the side as well. We have our new uh, polisher holder made of aluminum. 
Uh, and these hooks are designed to hang the core since, uh, you know, it's, it's made for three polishers. You guys can install three long polishers and as well the, the small polisher here in the middle. Uh, we have our pad holder as well, mainly designed for mobile detailers um, or any shop, you know, as well. The reason why is because as you guys can see, this gap over here is a little wider than the normal um, uh, uh, pad holders uh, because this one here is made for, in case you guys want the pad that is right here in the middle, all you need to do is lift it up, twist it, and pull it out. That way you guys are gonna be able to have many different pads here. It doesn't have to be only one kind uh, of the pads. So over here we have our um, we have our Predator 3500, and it's set on a 500 pound generator slide out. Uh, that's the new generator slide out. Um, and once again, it's, it's uh, an upgraded version. Uh, the, the one that we was installing before it was capable to hold 225 pounds enough for the for the predator but we just want to make it a little bit uh stronger or durable over here on the side we do have our bucket filler and as well we have a quick connect over here in order to if you guys would like to connect your uh pressure your pressure washer is straight from your customer water you guys are going to be able to connect it here and be able to just use the customer water if you guys would like. We have a 65 gallon water tank as well. As you guys can see right there, as the 65 gallon water tank, and this is our pump, our transfer pump. And we have the Mac Buster Beast vacuum over here. And uh, we have our 30 amp outlet connected everything in remote controls. And as well, we have our air compressor. That's the first dress air compressor and as well let's move on to the other side on this side like i mentioned we have the uh the uh, 500 pound generator and as you guys can see you guys can operate this one with just one hand just pr press that button right there and it's gonna be you're gonna be able to pull it out with no problem so same thing to push it back in pressed and push and it's gonna lock lock in place we have an additional shelf over here as well for you know a storage anything else anything else like anything that you might need and as well you have your Kressler pressure washer in this case is the 1622 TS total stop so it's a nice nice pressure washer all right let's move on to the back section again like I say guys this setup is designed for to last this setup is designed to last so as you guys can see back here and this is how it's gonna look on the outside whenever it's outside of the um, of the van. You guys can look at it on the side as well. And yeah, that's the way we have it. Like once again, this one here is uh, in working progress. So, <clears throat> and once again, uh, the idea is uh, like if you guys wanna pay for something, pay for quality, and make sure that you guys are paying one time for whatever you are getting and don't have to be doing it again and again and again. Once again, you guys can always pull out the frame and use a different vein uh, if you guys would like. So, all right guys, now let's move on to test it out and see how it works. So that way I will, uh, in the same video, I will show you guys how everything works on this setup. All right, let's do it. All right guys, so the setup is outside. So now let's get started the generator and i will show you guys once again how everything works like i said in this case it, it's gonna var uh, this is gonna be depends if, if it's if you are gonna be doing like a cold star uh you're gonna have to uh place this button all the way here but if not you're just gonna place it on a run start so we're gonna see if it's gonna start like this right now there you go once uh, you turn it on and you do let it warm up, once you will have to press this little button here in order to speed up the generator. Right there, as you guys, as you guys uh, hear it, uh, we speed up the generator a little bit. So now let's move on to the back section. In the back section, we have our remote control. 
uh, which uh, we have number one for the vacuum, number two for your air compressor, and number three is for your pump. So if you guys press number one, we have our vacuum working, and press number one off, and you're gonna be able to turn it off. If you guys press number two, you guys gonna be able to turn on your uh, air compressor. We have over here your tornado tool, which is not included. And you guys can turn it off by pressing number two off. Number three is for your pump, so you can turn it on. You want to make sure that you have constant water coming out. And then up here is your own switch for your pressure washer. So let's turn it on. Once again, this is the crank slot uh, 1622. And it's just, the pressure is just perfect for car detailing. So it's a really, really nice pressure washer. Uh, we can even use uh, the Kresla 1622 or the AR Blue 630. Those are the pressure washers that we are using on the new models of a setup. So, once you are done, make sure to press the pump off, shut off your switch, and release the pressure. And that's it, guys. Uh, super simple. It's a really nice, functional, and efficient setup for you guys. Uh, if you guys would like to get more information, feel free to look at the description. Down below, I will set up my website, I will set up my phone number, I will set up our location, uh, all the information for you guys if you guys would like to get or any information, any more information about this setup. So. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Take care.